Hello everybody, and welcome back to Single Quest. If you don't know me, I'm Flip, and this is my single player adventure series. Anyway, we're going to do a block spotlight today on the Greg Tech block known as the Sonic Tron, because I have not seen an explanation of this block anywhere. So you craft it like this. Advanced machine block or steel machine hull, your component pieces, a, a jukebox, and a music disc. There's also another version which is handheld, but I'll explain what they both do in a sec. Now one thing to remember is when you build it and you place it, it's kind of tricky to pick back up, unless you're going to whack it a ton with the wrench, which of course isn't going to work. Well, when you break it, instead you only get machine parts. So that's absolutely awful. You're going to want to somehow know where you're going to place it ahead of time because, again, trying to pick it back up will instead destroy the block. So, one thing to remember when you're opening the interface is that this is like a musical thing, okay? Clicking once will make a little block appear, which is a little odd, isn't it? Right-clicking will put a different version of it on there. Clicking some more will turn it into different blocks. It's not an interface that's particularly uh, obvious at what's going on. But just picture this as like a musical notation. Each one of these little blocks makes a sound. Now we can't really tell what it's doing right now because I haven't applied any redstone signal. So let's give myself a, le a lever, put it on the top, turn it on. So do you see what's going on? It makes a sound when an invisible thing is touching each block. Maybe that's not very clear. Uh, if I hold shift and I click, it will delete basically the little clicks I've made. Now what you can do with this is just cycle through all the different sounds that this thing will create. And that was right, right there. It does create, uh, well one of the options you can do is you can have a music disc and you can just make it be anything. So say I wanted to make it number eight, it would always do stall. But of course, when it hits the cycle, it would reset the music disc whenever it hits stall, see? So it's not that good for making discs over and over again, unless you specifically want the first, like, 10 seconds of every music disc. But this will actually work if you tell it to start with any music disc that you don't even have, right? Because I'm just putting it into the Sonictron. Unfortunately, with the music discs, they'll rotate forever, right? So right now we're kind of stuck listening. And I believe it's finally finishing. Music discs, you, they, they aren't always that easy to work with. As you can tell, technically speaking, you could build a Sonictron, never need to find one of the music discs, just tell it to do one music disc, put a button next to it, and it would work. It would be a repeatable music disc player without needing the music discs. Except, you know, one. For building the darn thing but as you can tell it's not that very useful so let's say uh, again I just click to make a block on here uh, I right click to put a different version of it I hold shift and then click to remove the block uh, and then basically you can make a little tune see so I've got two blocks of iron and then maybe some some things here like this and then maybe a, another gold one. Y you really have to play around with it to see what the different sounds do. Some blocks don't have different versions. In fact, I think everything after glass does not. Let's just check. Sand. Yes, sand does. But not the music discs do. TNT. Oh, you're going to have different explosions? There's only two TNT explosions. Well, let's see what this sounds like. Because the shovel is actually the sound of a tool breaking. The Eye of Ender is actually the sound when you go up a level. So you can add those kinds of sounds into it, as if they were produced by note blocks. So let's hit this and see what it sounds like. Hmm. Now you can see because it's more spread out, that it does sound like it's continuous, obviously, because it only takes two lines before it cycles through again, until I shut the power off. So that's a little bit weird, right? Now, I thought it was important to do this, because no one's ever explained this block before, and I found this all out 
through trial and error. Now, what is the mobile? What what does this Sonictron do? Basically, because there's two recipes, right? This is one actually takes the regular Sonictron and then things like Otarctic gates if you have them, or even data storage circuits. But why would you make one of these when they take a gate and emeralds around them? Why wouldn't you just build Otarctic gates and use those? I don't know. It's just silly recipes in Greg Tech. Anyway, the point is, the handheld one does nothing until you right click on your regular Sonictron. Listen, hear that? It doesn't say anything, but this handheld device has copied whatever this Sonictron had in its memory. So if I right click with it, it'll make the sound that R1 made. Weird, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know why this would ever be that useful. It's kind of like a portable Walkman, honestly, which is which is kind of hilarious. I've never seen anything like this in Minecraft before. Like, oh yeah, I'm just walking around. Why don't I right-click this Sonictron device over here? See? I made a tune on that one earlier. It's nice and upbeat-ish. So let's have a look at what this uh, recipe was, I guess. Recipe, notation, whatever. See, I just did something simple. Little wood, little grass, little iron. Snow blocks in there make the little sh sound. And the sh at the start is, of course, the grass block. There aren't different versions for grass. There aren't different versions for snow. But I like the little sound in there. Let's hear that again. Now, since these things all accept redstone signal to activate, what one thing you could do is you could just put it outside your house and kind of use it as a doorbell. Or, I'm not sure. You could make it make an exploding sound effect, like a lot of TNT next to each other, and the diamond block does the thunder sound effect. So technically, you could put it next to your machines, and if, uh, if you told one of them to emit a redstone signal when it was, like, out... You could make it do a large explosion sound so that you would be scared and fix your machines before they all actually explode. Or just use it to scare people, right? I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of things that you can do with this. This one here, I've just kind of put some wood and planks and wool together because they all are similar sound effects. Let's see what this one sounds like. No. What do you think? It's kind of too bad that there isn't like a line that goes across as if it was like following the beat so you'd know where to go. So that you could actually like test what it's doing as you're making it. So I would recommend using a lever to power this thing all the time as you're creating your beat. Actually, yeah, the wooden door open and close sound effects are in there, too, if you want to throw them in. You could... I don't know. There's a lot of weird things that this block could do, you see. But basically, if, as long as it's powered, that's when you can figure out what sounds it's going to make are. So after you've made your masterpiece, you know... Ta-da! I guess that's really my spotlight on how the Sonictron works. The tricky bits are knowing how to click and place things, as well as figuring out what all the sounds do, and maybe coming up with some ideas on how to use this little thing. So, I hope you enjoyed this block spotlight on the Sonictron. Now, because it takes things such as a steel machine hull, and maybe some component pieces, it might not actually that be that easy to create. Um... Especially if you want a whole bunch of Otarctic gates to make the handhold one. I'm not sure how hard those are. But hey, at least uh, we know what it does and how to use this block now, right? Or I hope you do. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in my next episode. Cheers!